Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this one's right up in my neck of the woods. The Rochester and Finger Lakes area. Uh, whenever they say protesters, I'm going to say rioters, because they did riot, apparently, uh, some in, up in Irondequoit. Rioters rally against arrest of Geneseo family by Border Patrol. March 24, 2017, 9.08 a.m. Rioters are fighting against the immigration arrest of a family in Geneseo. The Greater Rochester Coalition for Immigration Justice tells us a Guatemalan family was taken into custody Thursday evening. Overnight, rioters moved to a border patrol station in Rondeclay and Pantwood Drive to oppose the arrest. Police and state police surrounded the man after he threw something at an officer until that moment the protest had been the riot had been relatively peaceful. According to the rioters, the family was turned over to custom officials and radically one adult and five children were released. Mom and twelve year old were taken into in to be processed in Buffalo. We are told they are siblings. Through a translator, the sister that was released told us they're just going to church and children that children were also released want their mom. The phone call John Seal Police Department, MB News ten NBC Nothing but Communism was told that no information would be released Thursday night. Instead, we are directed to call on Friday. Border Patrol is also unable to comment on the situation at this time. So, let's take a look at the American Sandinista Communist groups that stuck their nose in into this one. I'm going to tell you, you folks at ICE, you want to find the illegals, go into any thrift store in this area, or any Walmart, uh, you might find 10% of the people speaking English there. That's a little clue. Let's take a look at uh, their sites. Worker Justice Center of New York. There's the uh, hammer being held by the uh, closed fist, which is a typical communist uh, symbol. Please join New York Immigration Coalition and its hosts, Greater Rochester Coalition for Immigrant Justice and Worker Justice of New York for convening on immigrant issues in the Rochester area. Now, notice the address here. Downtown United Presbyterian Church. They're breaking the law. This is a apostate church. It is not a Christian church. They're breaking the law, and they deserve to be punished. I don't care if their that uh, collar does not give immunity to uh, obeying the law. I'm sorry. I'm an agnostic, and this is one of the reasons. Is I see all these churches breaking the law and doing things like this, and it just burns me a new. It just burns me up. So basically, they're supporting illegal aliens and all that. Take one quick look at their news. Yeah, there's that. There's the story right there uh, from the uh, Rochester edition of the Communist Party USA propaganda rag, otherwise known as the Democrat and Chronicle newspaper. And we'll take a look at this other group. This is um, this is Facebook, Greater Rochester Coalition for Immigration Justice. They're globalists, basically. Globalists and commies and so forth. The Border Patrol office here in Rochester. Um, we're for All right, the I turned on the sound. Detained in Geneseo. Um, for a minor tra traffic violation, and 
they have the potential of being deported and being separated. All right. The same bunch as Soros. These are the American Sandinista communists. There's no question about that. And it says on the morning of March 21st, five watt farm workers were picked up by ICE in Albany, New York. So these scumbags are uh, pushing for more illegals to come here. They're open borders, they're globalists, and they are communists. It's that simple. These are the American Sandinista communists. They are anti-American. They hate this country, and they believe we should have open borders and let anybody in and wants to come in. You don't have a country if you do that. I'm sorry. That's the way this works. A country is a place where you have people with similar interests and cultures and so forth are gathered together and they form their own geographic group. That's a country. All of this is right in my neck of the woods and that makes me nervous. Maybe I'll start my own Facebook group, but unfortunately I'd take it down. Just for grins, let's take a look at this. Before I go, Somerville Presbyterian Church, I have no idea where that is. But here we have another apostate law-breaking church. Never heard of Somerville. Okay, 4845 St. Paul Boulevard, Rochester, New York. Certainly have heard of St. Paul Boulevard. Uh, I think so. At any rate, so here we have massive law breaking, total disrespect to our country by not just the uh, heathen communists, but from churches as well. And you wonder why uh, people like myself are agnostics. You wonder why you have so many agnostics. Well, these churches are abandoning their country. They, How dare they? If you look at the right side of the picture, you see a Christian flag. I know what that is. I used to go to church on a regular basis, so I know what that is. How dare you, sons of bitches! You have some nerve, I'll tell you that much. You have some nerve calling yourselves Christians. Shame on you! Shame on you, church. You are apostate. You have no business even calling yourself Christians. You are American Sandinista communists. You are atheists. That's what you are. Don't give me any bullshit that you're worshiping Jesus Christ. I don't want to hear it. I will not listen. I better go before I scream myself hoarse. This is Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Uh.